a team of scientists at Scripps Research Institute in La Jolla, California, have discovered new breakthroughs in the fight against HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. The discoveries focus on two new compounds that prove the existence of new binding sites on an enzyme, the HIV protease, used by HIV to create new infectious viral particles. This discovery can open the door for new treatments to combat the increasing number of drug-resistant HIV strains as well as improve the potency of current drug therapies. According to the World Health Organization, 33 million people globally live with the infection. The reason we're excited by this particular uh, discovery is that we found a new site on one of the proteins of the HIV virus uh, that is actually uh, a target for many of the most highly used therapeutics against HIV infection. So it can serve as a foothold for new drugs that may overcome the resistance that's caused when uh, people uh, taking the FDA approved drugs uh, get used to those drugs. The virus actually adapts to those drugs. Researchers credit the millions of people who have donated unused computing time through the Fight AIDS at Home project of IBM's World Community Grid for speeding the new discoveries. IBM's World Community Grid is a global, humanitarian effort that links millions of individual PCs and business computers into a massive supercomputer to work on some of the world's most challenging problems. It crunches data when people aren't using their computers. Well, when you think about it, it's really pretty amazing. By hundreds of thousands of people around the world donating unused cycles on their computers, we've allowed these Scripps researchers to discover potentially a new class of uh, anti-HIV drugs. So the World Community Grid has been running since about 2004, and while we had a number of interesting scientific results, I think this is one of the first times where we really discovered something that could have profound impact on, uh, on the way we treat HIV AIDS. World Community Grid provided the Scripps researchers with nearly 107,000 years of computational time over five years of research to assist with the current HIV discoveries. In a second paper recently published in the Journal of Molecular Biology, the Scripps team has used computational modeling to improve understanding of another HIV enzyme and key drug target, Integrase. The Scripps team was recently awarded government stimulus funding as part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act to advance their new project against HIV Integrase. You can help this research along by becoming a World Community Grid member. Simply download a safe, free application on your computer, and when you're not using the computer, the unused cycles go to humanitarian research. IBM's World Community Grid has uh, provided resources of a scale that we couldn't have previously gotten thanks to the volunteer uh, uh, CPU hours that, that many of the uh, people around the world have given. Um, and we're doing computational experiments that we wouldn't have considered doing previously because if it takes 100,000 years to do an experiment, we won't be around uh, to see the answer and neither will any of the AIDS patients that we're working uh, to find a new, uh, new therapeutics for.